also yeah we're just waiting on splash and here we go 16 that much tree drop called on is the drop called on i don't know we'll have to see i guess <laughs> okay here we go and uh yeah bps is gonna get the first pent he has no idea where to go with it so let's see where he ends up he's gonna go through a teleporter finds absolutely yeah. nothing he went the wrong way to get the rocket launcher yeah he'll keep walking around trying to find something yeah okay he's gonna take a boomstick fight against gonyets instead i'm watching oh. quaker has to quad let me assume that it was not drop yeah so there are two quads on this map or one yeah okay it was yeah. drop quad okay never mind it was drop quad. yeah tumult got it then died to unknown apparently <laughs> whatever that is <laughs> so i'm gonna watch if you watch quaker him quaker made the map with me uh-huh well, i'm on auto track so I'm, I'm following the quads mate yeah we'll get to quaker at some point i'm sure especially if he knows the map we see Gonyets over here. And it's just kind of swapping around because everybody's trying to get to that quad. It's not over. It's now over. Um, but it was in the lava, so people were just jumping down there and dying. So Brace is killing a couple of Polish players. Oh, there's a ring as well. Splash is going to pick that up. It's uh, yeah, on two minutes delayed or one and yeah, a half one. minutes. Yeah. That's another quad. It's going to fall down to its death. So there are two quads, yeah? Yeah. And Quaker, Quaker got the ring as well. Quaker knows where it is, <laughs> where the quads are. Yeah. So I know where one of the quads are, like uh, the one in the lava. Where's the other one? Yeah, it's Quaker is he's coming up with it now. Okay. Behind him. The quad is behind him. You jump over that fence and the quad is there. Okay. And here's the yellow. Oh, oh, nice. Nice rocket by Tumult. And here we see the LG. Hangtime is... So this is what I expect from Hangtime, right? You know, to, to just kind of play defensive and, uh, and defend this lightning gun. If this is the only yeah. lightning gun, he can kind of stand here for Does days. Does he need some armor? Uh, perhaps. I think he's going to jump back and not care about armor at all. And try to win this fight. He's not going to, though. Gonyets is going to win that. As the power so, up, uh, power ups are about to spawn again, what is going to be picked up by Turbo? Gonna get a kill on Tumult, who apparently does not have a skin for whatever reason. Let me type skins. And Turb and Quaker with the quad here now. Yep, Quaker with one of the quads. Yeah, going to LG. Oh, go it down must to Max. got him. Turbo also has a quad on the other side. Remember, these maps are way bigger than the other ones that we saw earlier. So it might not see the same kind of craziness. Oh, that's an interesting teleporter inside the lava. Yeah, it teleports upstairs so you can go to the other side of the map. Yeah. And as you can see here, you, there are holes in the floor so you can shoot down at the LG. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> Max is going to go down here. BPS, of course, the Emperor. He's going to take this teleporter. No idea where it goes, but he yeah. looks, takes a look around and sees that. Okay, I'll jump down here. <laughs> Chill here for a little bit. This is kind of funny. Yeah, he has no idea where to go. So he's just uh, sniping a little bit. Yeah. Wait, he knows that this quad is up, but somebody needs to open. I'm not sure that's going to happen. Uh, Max is going to get the other quad. On the other side of the map, so we have two quads yeah. here as well, of course. He's gonna try and move to LG. No, he goes the other way. Now Let's he's see. Jump over, but he's gonna yeah, go down and to Hangtime. Hangtime gets the quad for free, I guess. Now he's gonna be Billy the Kid instead. He gets it, and of course, well, he, it looks like he doesn't want to stay here. Has no idea how to open the spike, so he's not gonna go that way. He's gonna go this way instead. Goes down to Splash. Splash gets a kill on him, and the quad, but it runs out. Splash also didn't pick up the uh, the LG either. Max, <laughs> he also jumps down and dies to the unknown. So why do you die when you jump down this place? Well, if you stand on the pen spawns down there, so you can't stand on the bars. They are there. 
They are so hot that you're you're getting hurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it opens so it opens out when you go down, so you get down to the water. All right, all right. Eleven minutes left of this first <laughs> so they keep dying over that spot they're all trying to get to that quad it's not yeah, the first time it's like the, the pen, third the pen, time the pent is there and it's pent now yep pent time quaker understood that Arisa and... is the one gonna get it yeah <laughs> and now let's see if he figures out where to go with it he also has no weapon he's gonna try yeah. to make his way to one of the weapons yeah hopefully. he's get very uh, rocket launcher and he can get the quad. Yeah, nice and job by that. the Norwegian. He's gonna get the quad and the lightning gun from Tumult. Here you see the button. Yep, that's the button for the quad. The other quad oh, is gonna no, rocket jump to that. <laughs> he's gonna rocket jump to that. But now he's out of armor and the pent is over. So now he's in, he's in a vulnerable position, but he's still got quad for quite a while. Here's the rocket low and there's a mega here at the wall, but it's not there. And there is a yellow there. You need to go to the teleporter. Let me see yeah, you for it, a second as well. But Ace got it. So, watching Barese here, it looks like he has some knowledge. And here he, Barese goes for this quad. Yeah. Nice. Well done by the Norwegian. But having a look at the scoreboard, it's actually Quaker BPS Splash in the yeah, top. It, closely it, followed by Barese. Quaker should win this. It's a very... Nobody played it and he... We used like two, three months on this map. <laughs> yeah, he knows the layout of the map. He knows where the items are. That's a nice ring pickup by Barisi. Barisi also knows it, apparently. Yeah, Barisi is kind of... Knows a little bit, so he, does the, he knows where to go, it seems. Yeah. This is Rocket splash. Low. Splash. And Omega. Yeah. He's doing pretty well here, but the quads are about to spawn. I think one might already be up. So that teleport is interesting to get to that yellow. Yeah. Let's see if he can make his way to quad here. Yeah, one of them has already spawned and one just spawned. BPS is going to pick up one of them. Doesn't have any weapons. Oh, oh he yes. survives with one HP. He's gonna get that rocket launcher. Is he gonna die in the lava? <laughs> yes, he is. He is gonna die in the lava. Parisi picks up the other quad. Of course, that one is gonna be the most delayed because it requires someone to press that damn button. So it's gonna be delayed a little bit more. But here we see Max with one of the quads. He's also got a mega. He needs some armor, but probably doesn't know how to get one. And yeah, he's still alive. He's got he have to push back. There he goes down. Parisi picked up the other quad. On the other side of the map, and he's getting a couple of kills here. There, use goes. Very easy to tell where use is. Oh, BPS is gonna fly in with a lightning gun and get the kill at the tail end of that quad. BPS, Barisi, Quaker, and Splash now in the lead over Quaker. That's impressive for someone who doesn't know the map and is complaining about the map. He's Splash actually in the lead. The, yeah, the biggest whiner is in the lead. Yeah. That's always beautiful. He's actually got the lead over one of the map creators. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. But BPS is now in second place together with Quaker. Quaker gets a kill, so the splash. But we still got seven minutes of this. Lugia has some issues. Six frags. <laughs> yeah, Lugia on six frags. Tumult on ten. They haven't found much. And Billy the Kid. Yeah, also not doing very hard. Yeah, we have to remember uh, the, the three last players don't get points. Yeah, exactly. So it's... Uh, uh, it's what is five, it? four, three, two, two, one, 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 one. Yeah. yeah. So player eight and player nine also gets a point in the final. And the nine... Ten, eleven, and, and twelve and don't. don't. Yeah, they get zero on your side. So... Billy is actually now on zero points. That's not gonna be good for him. So is Lugia and so is Tumult. But we still got seven minutes. Yeah. Anything can happen. BPS is trailing Splash in the lead here. Splash is now on 44 frags. I'm kind of curious where he's getting the frags because we haven't seen him on auto track all that much. Yeah, but maybe he's at red. 
Auto track hasn't. We haven't seen any red armor on Auto track. I'm actually gonna swap over to Splash manually. So he's actually just gone down. Unfortunately, so we don't get to see where he's been camping. But wherever he's been, it's been working. So we get to see use here a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> she goes down. Yep. Hang time figured out the button, made it over to Lightning Gun, which you already have. Max picks up the quad, only has a grenade launcher. That's not going to help him very much. He's going to try to get over to the Lightning Gun. Is he going to survive? Though? No, Billy the Kid is there. He's going to steal the quad. Now he needs to find a way out of here. He's going to open this, get through. As the Pentas also spawned, which is going to go to Hang Time. He's in the middle of the pack right now on 23 yeah, he knows where Pen He knows where the Lightning Gun is, so he's going straight for it. Yep, yeah, he wants that <laughs> Lightning Gun. <laughs> And he doesn't care about... He's got the pants. He doesn't care about trick jumping or anything. Oh, can he get stuck in there? That would have been funny. Yes. If the bars go down, you see the lava is there. Yep. That would have been <laughs> hella funny if you have pants and you get stuck in there. You just have to wait. Because you can't die. Can you type slash kill when you have the pants? Oh, that's a free... <laughs> that was a quad just waiting for hang time. That's so funny. It's going to step through a teleporter. Actually, does someone know that? Can you type kill in the console when you have pent? I have no idea. I I've never so. tried that. And what happens then? Does it drop the pent to somebody else? Xantum says yes. Okay. Oh, PPS is gonna circle jump um, his way. The Emperor is in the lead. <laughs> he still hasn't figured out how to open those bars. <laughs> yeah, he tries again. <laughs> There's a button. Uh, he can't see the button. Oh, now he sees it opening, but... Oh, oh. don't get stuck. Oh my god, that was so close. He almost got stuck. So cool. Then he goes down, but he is in the lead somehow. He's just roaming around the map with no idea what to do, but he's still finding the frags. I guess he's... Uh, He's found a way to the, the weapons, and that's the most important thing, right? Quicker, oh, what quick, are you doing, man? Quicker's gonna die in the lava. Quicker, of course, one of the map creators, so he should know the map pretty well. It was his splash as well. He's still second on the board. And he's been hovering around this uh, this rocket launcher for quite a while. Gonna drop down now and maybe go for it. No, he's not gonna go for the... Um... Oh, he almost dies in the lava as well, down to 9 HP. I thought he was gonna go for the lightning gun, but he didn't. Get to see Tumult for a little bit as well. Okay, Turbo apparently doesn't have a skin anymore. I have no idea why. And it's what it is. Oh, there's use. He's gonna go down. Lugia with the other quad. He's got a red. So we haven't gotten to see red too much. Quake is gonna get the kill on him with the grenade launcher. As he's trying to work his way around the map. He knows it, so he should be able to. Uh, yeah, he's searching for Megas team. and armors. And splash here with the quad. And a ring, apparently. Gonna get a couple of frags. He's actually doing pretty well. He's tied with BPS, <laughs> and uh, just as I say that, the caster curse is real. Splash is dying in the lava, of course. I mean, I'm gonna try to type skins again. For some reason, uh, Turbo doesn't have one. Well, it worked yesterday, so no on Friday. Sorry. Yeah. Unless you gave me a new file that was bad i don't know <laughs> no i don't every skin was there so quaker with a few precise rockets through those uh spikes yeah, you can't oh, go you there go oh he jumps he jumps he made it and then hp billy the kid picks up this and he's just barely gonna survive 15 hp almost dies in the lava Billy the Kid's on zero points right now. Yeah. As is Tumult and Lugia. Lugia has this quad, but no uh, no weapons. Barisi has the other one. He's, He's got a rocket lead. launcher. If he gets, yeah, Barisi in the lead now. Yeah. Oh, he goes down. <laughs> Hang time now got the other quad. He's going to try to make his way over to the lightning gun. He's probably going to go down before getting there. Yes, indeed. He goes down. BPS picks up the quad. Quad versus quad. Baris is going to win that fight and takes a pretty good lead. Actually, as I say that, never mind. Uh, actually goes down in the lava. And BPS is back in the lead. Splash and Quaker are both up there as well. And so is Max. Then the jump is pretty big down to hang time. So I think we see our top five potentially here already. But now Lugia has gotten some frags. So... But this... 
Yeah, he's gonna gotten... spawn in 30 seconds, but he has time. You have to make up seven frags. I guess the issue is to get a weapon and start killing. Yeah, BPS still in the lead somehow, even though he looks completely lost on the map. He's figured out a way to find frags. And Billy the Kid has not. He's actually second to last now. Billy, my man, I'm rooting for you. What are you doing? Maybe it's the caster curse. Who knows? Yeah. Only it's oh, gonna go somebody for opened. <laughs> Parisi with the other quad on the other side of the map. He's gonna find a kill on Max. Yeah, he can win now if he, he needs frags. Three frags or something. And he gets PPS. Uh, He's gonna find one more. He's looking for this. Still 30 seconds to go. The pen should be available. Oh! Not sure. Actually, he's gonna take the lead frag. now. One frag ahead of BPS. But the quad runs out. He's gonna find another one. Gonyets picks up the last pent. So the last thing that we're gonna get to see is Gonyets. But let's keep track of the frags. Barisi oh, BPS still got two frags. Ahead. Yeah. Barisi, three Barisi ahead got a now. frag. Three frags ahead now. But BPS is close behind. Ten, uh, ten seconds remaining. Two frags behind on BPS. We still get to see Gonyets as he's climbing into six sixth place which will earn him one more point and there you go berisi is gonna win it bps second splash third even though he was the biggest whiner and quaker <laughs> fourth and yeah now we come to the fun part where we have to enter all the points into the wikipedia yeah alice is gonna do that worst map ever tumult says <laughs> as we're gonna go into quake 3 dm7 tell him to hold on till uh getting the results in bar ac5 bps4 yep flash 3 Quaker Max 2 and Goniax Hang Time Use and Billy got one point. And zero points for two men, one frag behind two men and turbo, or one frag behind BTK. And Lugi got last 25 frags. It's done. It's I'm, updated. Yeah, I believe everyone has seen this map if you've played Quake 3. And I think the majority of us have at some point uh, to different levels. This map is, of course, very, very known, well known. The Temple of Retribution. Yep. Gonna have to it's see how that plays in a 12 man FFA in Quake World. Yeah, it's, it's kind of spacey and. Um should produce more frags than the, the one we saw. We have to remember the... I think it's, it's a sure to say that every player on this that's here played that map for the first time that we just saw. <laughs> yeah, except for Quaker and apparently Barisi as well. Yeah. This one everyone will be familiar with to some level. But the question is, do you, will they know how to play it? Lugia yeah. for sure will know this one. And so he's, of he's kind of a, three. are you naming Lugia as favorite here? Not necessarily, but he will probably know the map better than the other players. Yeah. He's probably played this in tournaments even. Yeah, BPS also acknowledges that. And here we go. This is going to be map number two. Remember, we only have four maps in this one, but each one is 16 minutes long. Map number two is upon us. This is DM7 from Quake 3, and here we go. Oh my god, there's not a lot of spawns on this map apparently. I did not know that. That's a lot of telefrags early on. <laughs> Max is gonna steal the quad, gets, goes down as well. Tumult instead picks it up. And then Max, and we're gonna swap quads a little bit. But Max now, with a quad, is gonna pick up a little bit of HP. And the red. Red is about oh. to spawn indeed. Max is gonna pick that up. 
Oh, that's a lightning gun that he really wants. He's using the super super nail gun instead of the super shotgun. Maybe a little bit questionable there, but in the end it works out. Barisi gets a lag, so he's gonna die during his lag. That's unfortunate for the Norwegian. What is it about Norwegians and lag? I got no clue. It's been there for since the birth of Quake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Machism just recently got on fiber, but before that he was on like 30 packet loss every single night. Fucking Norwegians. Anyways. <laughs> Get to see Gonyx. And now it's time for quad number two. It's gonna be Barisi. He has a red armor as well and a lightning gun. No ammo though for his lightning gun. So he's gonna use the super shotgun. Gonna pick up a little bit of ammo. Nine cells from Billy the Kid. And it goes straight to red, so... Yeah, back to red, but it's already been picked up. Long times away. Ten seconds away now, the red is. But he's gonna he defend can... it. Or There's a mega downstairs. And he's gonna go down. Billy the Kid picks up the quad instead. Red is spawning oh, now. Oh, nice boom sticking there. Mega is down here at the telly, but probably taken. <laughs> Billy the Kid just goes straight through. He might be one of the players who does not know the map or haven't played it before. I don't know if Billy ever played Quake 3. Who knows? BBS getting a nice rocket kill is just kind of hiding up here at the rocket launcher because he's down to 8 HP, not much to do, just trying to hit those shots and actually nobody's boomsticking him for some reason. One boomstick and he would be dead, but Quad is spawning, it's gonna be Max with the super nail gun again, now back to boomstick, he's probably gonna go down here, there he goes, let's see, Turbo's gonna pick it up, he goes down as well, BPS is gonna be the one picking up the Quad instead, but then he goes down, Lucha gets down, Baris is gonna go down with it, and I think we've traded 10 times maybe, Gonyets is gonna pick it up, and everybody wants this quad but nobody can really survive with it gone it's now surviving for a little bit only with the super nail gun yet again it's gonna go to the yellow picks up the yellow armor so now he should be able to survive it even though he doesn't really have a weapon he's gonna try to get to this rocket launcher if you're stacked when you get caught then have lg the frags is gonna <laughs> yeah for sure somehow billy the kid is actually in the lead early on in this one boris is second gone it's third and bps fourth and Luja is all the way on the bottom, even though he's probably the one who knows this map the best. But uh, evidently, that doesn't really matter in a, in a free-for-all. It's all about knowing how to play uh, This quad area is just mad. Yeah, everybody seems to want to go to the quad area for some reason. As they're going to start trading, but BBS picks up the quad. He has a rocket launcher, so he could actually maybe survive with this. He could make his way over to the yellow. No, never mind. He's going to go down to the lightning gun of Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid instead going to pick up the quad. He then goes down, and now it's going to be back to BBS. He also has a lightning gun now. Only three cells, though, so he can't do much with it. It's going to be a super shotgun instead, and it's actually working. He's getting a bunch of frags here, and the fact of the matter is actually that there are quite a few spawns around that area where the quad has been dying all this time. And that is the reason that uh, we see so many players going there. Barisi trying to uh, control this red armor. We've seen that throughout the entirety of this game, the first four minutes. He's been around that red armor area for quite a while. As we, we haven't played a bunch of uh, gifted subs from Lord Lame again. Thank you so much, brother. 25 yeah. subs from Lord Lame. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have 37 frags already and not even four minutes played. So it will be for sure be over 100 frags here absolutely possible as the, the quad is spawning again it's gonna be max in the beginning but look at that everybody's just spawning in at the same time and i wonder how many spawns this map has because oh as we kind of can see um people are spawning there over and over and over again and <laughs> we're we're with a nice quad run considering how many uh spawn frags we saw at the beginning of the game 12 players we had like six maybe six spawns on the map something like yeah. that Something like that, yeah. And too close to quad, so... Yeah, exactly. So so the quad gets very flooded automatically. Thank you so much, Lord Lane, by the way. You're the man. So we get to see Barisi here doing a pretty good job. But Billy the Kid has taken the lead over BPS. Barisi is stuck in third. But we still got 11 minutes to go. And the quad is about to spawn in 10 seconds. <laughs> oh my god! And it's gonna be Splash splashed. gets the quad yeah, actually, without the fight. Yeah, that was actually not even challenged. But he only has a super shotgun. That has been the name of the game thus far. The lightning gun is here though. Will he be able to get to it? No, he will not. He's gonna go down to Barisi. Nobody's picking up the quad just yet. It's gonna be used instead with a lightning gun. That's also a tally exit. That's not a spawn. That's a tally exit. 
uh, that you can also kind of camp actually to be fair she's, instead she's gonna make her way over to you uh these spawns over here but she's out of cell so she's gonna go down forced to use that um that super nail gun instead so multi is trying to hit that mid air rocket he's gonna do that twice over <laughs> oh my God. this is nice this is actually a really good map i would say for free for all um so far i think it plays yeah. really nicely but yeah action all the time bps still in the lead 52 frags And the frag, uh, sorry, the, the quad is available. It's gonna be turbo. He goes down immediately. Gonius has found himself a red armor, kind of avoiding this quad area at all costs, it seems. Uh, and he's gonna be back there. This is just craziness around this, uh, around this quad. Yuse is finally gonna be able to escape with it, gets to the lightning gun. So now she should be able to win any fight that, she, uh, that, that happens to her. However, the quad is about to run out, and so are her cells. She's gonna go down. The, the lightning gun does not work in long range, of course, and there's no railgun in this game so what can you do <laughs> you kind of use to, the boomstick yeah you're gonna have to use the boomstick oh splash with a uh, yellow armor there he's gonna be able to pick up that pack if he's quick this is a very devious position for this um for the rocket launcher it's not easy to get up there and grab a rocket launcher that is that is one of the things that has been good on this map it's hard to get a rocket launcher and once you do uh you're in trouble and max flooding rockets at yeah, red. The quad is about to spawn again. It's gonna be Gonyets picking it up. But he goes down to Hangtime. Hangtime has a lightning gun and a green armor. He might be able to do something with the snow because he ran out of cells. Instead, it's gonna be Barisi. He has a rocket launcher. No cells though for his lightning gun, but that's okay because he has a rocket launcher. He's trying to get back to this red armor. <laughs> the red armor is gonna spawn in two seconds. Let's see if BPS can pick it up. He's gonna be able to pick up the no! red, I think. Yes, he's fine. He's fine. He jumps onto the pad, he, he's dead. He has a lightning gun as well. Uh, out of cells now, so he's gonna have to use the super shotgun, but that's pretty strong with the quad, of course. Then goes down. <laughs> You're so exposed on that area. I mean, You're four guys starts to boomstick you. <laughs> You're dead. BPS still in the lead. 68 frags, 64 in Barisi. Gonyets is third with 62. And then Billy the Kid on 59. Used in the very bottom, hang time is down there as well, so is Lugia for some reason. So BPS and Boresia looking good for some cash. Yep. Oh my God. They are indeed. This turbo gets a couple of frags with this quad, it's gonna be Splash instead. Once again with the super nail gun. A lot of super nail gun combinations with the quad. Splash is gonna wait for this yellow. No, never scratch that. He's actually going to fight instead, and that costs him his life. Now it's Lugia, on the other hand. He's gonna get the yellow armor together with the quad. It's not gonna go for the for the rocket launcher. Instead, he's gonna move the other way towards this pack of spawns and just try to get spawn frags. <laughs> Oh Look my at this. god, the craziness in this room! So many, so many super shotguns! This is a crazy fight! And in the end, Turbo is the one surviving it all. Nice. Man, I kind of want to be in that room. Just Imagine if you had a rocket launcher in that room. Yeah, or a quad LG. Yeah, yeah that too. This is actually smart by hang time. So he's going to stand on the yellow armor. And I remember, like, uh, I don't know if people in the chat knows, but there was a mod in, um, in Quake 3 called Excessive Plus where you could shoot um, rockets like with no delay whatsoever. You would spam them and, uh, and have infinite ammo and stuff. And you would actually stand up here and spam that spawn because like, yeah, that, that's a cheesy way to get a lot of frags. But here we see Barisi with both the yellow, uh, sorry, the red and the mega and the quad and the lightning gun and, uh, and the rocket launcher. He hasn't, uh, he doesn't have any cells, but you don't really need that if you have this. Uh, actually, he's going to get flooded down here. Never mind. All of that stack <laughs> is just gone. But he did take the lead in the meantime. So he's got 83 frags now. BPS on 80. Billy the Kid on 78. And Gonyets on 68. As Billy the Kid comes in with the lightning. And he's got pre plenty of cells. Actually, oh no. He's going to lose the red armor to Barisi. Who came flying in and just stole it. And he's going he's gonna to leave a pack to him as well. That's not yeah, what you want to do. Pack. Only had 10 cells in it though. So it's not too big of a deal. Barisi is now out of ammo. He's probably going to go down here. Gonyas picks up the quad. Let's see if we get another 
possession of that madness in that corridor. Now he's gonna go the other way instead. Try to move. No, he's not going to the lightning gun. He already has it. So he's gonna go for the cell pack instead. But he's already out of cells. Now he's gonna be the super shotgun instead. And now he's in the corridor. But there are no people here. In this little hallway. Instead, it's gonna be splash. He also doesn't have any weapons apart from the super we shotgun. A, we have a ton of frags. Look at the frags. Absolutely. <laughs> It's like 600 frags or something. <laughs> as Yuse has made her way all the way to the grenade launcher. It's not a very good weapon actually on, on this map. <laughs> well, it could be actually if you're on uh, on the yellow armor perhaps. Quad is 10 seconds away. BPS is going to try to wait for this yellow. He's going to pick it up. He has five rockets. This is a good place to get frags with that. But there aren't too much ammo on the map, to be honest. So, like, those rockets are now gone. He's got one left. Billy the Kid is going to pick up the quad. It's all about the super shotgun and the quad. I feel like that combination is just so strong on this. He's going to lose the fight to BPS, but BPS is down to 31 HP. So, he might go down. That's a beautiful rocket. He's going to get a couple of frags here. Uh, he's still very low. He's going to escape though, to the, grenade or, uh, to the uh, green armor. Down to 3 HP, though. He might go down to what, just one boomstick, maybe two. But still surviving. He's gonna not pick up the... What? He's not picking up the lightning gun. Now he is. I hope. Yeah, finally picks it up. And Billy the Kid is in third. Two. He needs these five points. He's... Yeah. He's Look one at the frag behind Barisi on BPS. But we still have four minutes to go. Four more quads to go. And anything. I think we're gonna have three or four people above 100 frags before this is all said and done. Everybody trying to get to that red. It's still 10 seconds away, though, so no no point in trying to go for so it. So Max, Max has 20 health and he has 200 uh, health. No, Max, you can't. You, what, what are you doing? Well, who knows? Go so the about to spawn. It's going to be Gomez picking it up once again with that super shotgun. He's going to make his way into this hallway and try to get to spawn frags. No, he's not. He's going to go for the yellow armor instead. It's going to spawn in five seconds. So he's going to have to wait here with the super shotgun <laughs> and just hold this uh, hold this uh, area. And he's going to try to do that against BPS. And that's a rocket launcher pack. Everybody hunting the quad. Uh, yeah, it's everybody crazy. wants to get there. BPS is now in the lead. He's above 100 frags. He's on 102 frags. Barisa is about to hit 100 as well. So he's building the kid as we exchange squads again and is gonna gonna pick it up. as well 94 and the quad is now <laughs> over we still have three more crazy quads to go as they tend to go crazy on this map because so much shotgun super shotgun action it's difficult to get a rocket launcher and it's once you have one it's difficult to survive with it max here with 200 200 he's got a red and a mega that's what he's been doing, but he's pretty low on frags. He's not going to be able to get anywhere near the top. Um, I think on this map, you actually gain more frags by being in the crazy areas rather than uh, trying to get a good stack. Yeah. I think it's better to go for the quad and go for these crazy fights as this is where everything happens. Quaker with the lightning gun here is going to run out of cells, gets to kill anyways with the super nail gun. And he's actually made it out of there. He might get some ammo here from all these packs. He's got 26 cells now. He's waiting for someone to exit that teleporter, but nobody's exiting. He's just holding this teleporter, but nobody's coming his way. So he's just wasting this quad, and then he loses oh. the fight to Barisi for no reason whatsoever. But the quad is out. Uh, quad is over. So no quad really for Barisi. BPS with the red armor and the lightning gun and the rocket launcher. He's got so much. He's going to get so much ammo from all these packs. Some 26, 47 cells now. If he, if he can make his way over to the quad, that is going to be huge. He's already got the lead. 117 frags, 118 frags. As we got four players now above 100 frags. And he might be able to get this quad. He still has a little bit of that red armor left. And he's got the ammo for it. This might be the nail in the coffin. BBS is going to win this map, I do believe. Let's see if he can find the frags with this. He's going to spam rockets towards that area, towards that hallway where so many people always stuck up and towards that spawn but he could just go in there and plow through it with the lightning gun if he wants to but now it's down to 17 hp but this has still been a crazy real he quad. gets the hp yeah he gets the hp and this has been a very very good quad run so many frags going his way he's now 138 frags can you believe that that's so many frags with one quad and this is the first quad to survive the entire duration on one player yes it is and bps was... 139 frags uh, over Barisi on 117. I believe BPS is going to win this one. Billy the Kid on 108. Gonyets on 105. Splash might be able to reach that 100 marker as well. Oh my god. 
this was great. <laughs> yeah, this was an amazing map for free for all, actually. Uses at the bottom together with Tumult, Hang Time, and Turbo. If you are still on top, 143 frags, Barisi on 120. As this is the last quad, it's gonna be picked up here by BPS after he killed Luja or whoever it was. Getting a couple of frags here down to one cell using the super nail gun. Instead, gonna use the last cell that he had as kind of like a railgun. Getting a couple of more frags here. 10 seconds remaining. I believe that what we see is what we get. I don't think any positions are gonna change from here on out. Seven seconds remaining. And this was an amazing map for free for all. I loved it. This was some craziness as there you go. BPS in first, Barisi, Billy the Kid, Gonit, Splash. That's your top five for map number two. That was an amazing map. Holy <laughs> moly. Cool. So BPS five, Barisi four. So they switched from the first map. They're looking pretty hot now. And uh, Billy got three. And two points to Goniats and Splash. And one point to Max, Lugia, Tumen, and Quaker. So no points for hang time, Turb, and use. <clears throat> and now we have a five minute break. Yes, indeed. So those kinds of maps kind of make me lose my voice. Let's, um... <laughs> yeah, that was, great. that was real great. I mean, yeah. it, it's kind of cool to explore which map is good for FFA, etc. It's not... I don't think all maps have been explored in that mode. Like E3M7 TDM, we agree it's great, and now this... This Quake Cream up. Yeah, we need that uh, DM7 in, in more FFA events because that played yeah. awesome. That was awesome for... Uh, I mean, you don't need two rockets and LG, LG and lots of weapons to have a great FFA as this map proved. It was just crazy. Yeah, it's actually a pretty small map, which is okay because that creates more craziness, but also more fights with like the super shotgun and that was just enjoyable in every single way. I loved it. Actually, yeah, a great, great Quake 3 map. It was fun. Where are you getting these tunes? They are sick. This is the uh, Doombringer OST. You can buy it. Uh, link it to you. So on this map, uh, at the cold area, you have a Sky Death, like Skull. But it's the only place you have Sky Death on the map, so... Yeah, this uh, soundtrack was made by Prime Evil. He's the guy who made the Doombringer soundtrack, and he's also done other things. So check out his stuff. I agree, the, the music is awesome. He does amazing tracks. All right, let's have a look. You guys follow along as we update this. And check out the standings. And uh, Alice has also aligned it correctly. Is she? Uh, yes, she has. So at the top, so, we've got Barisi. We've got BPS, Splash, and Billy the Kid. Nine, nine, five, and four. Yeah. And we've it's, got a bunch of players right behind that. This is going to be close because because of the, we're only playing four maps. Uh, that's going to make it so much closer at the end when it comes to, yeah. to score, right? Yeah. And... Uh... Yeah, seven. Oh God, as we get a six month sub for, from uh, Nepsi. Thank you very much, dude. Welcome to the team. Welcome to you, Sudden Death TV. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, BPS and Barisi at the top right now. Yeah, you have five players that needs points now in this map, or it's pretty much. Actually, much... Tur Turbo, that poor guy, he's still on zero. Yeah. Poor Turbo. The Finnish players, Yus and Lugia, both on one, Tumult as well on one, and Hang Time on one. So, from seventh place and up, they're in range for top spots. The rest has to actually win the next map to get in range for top spots, so... 
But if you get 8th place, you get 30... Yeah, top 8 gets uh, paid, so you get yeah, 30 bucks uh, if you... 8th uh, place gets 30 euro and 7 gets 30 euro, 5, 6 gets 50. Yep. And 4th, I don't remember, I, I can scroll up, 4th gets 60, 3rd 75. 2nd place gets 90 euros and 125 euros for number 1. And looks like it might be a fight between Norway and Sweden. <laughs> It does indeed. Let's uh, jump back into the map. But as the next one, yeah, I'll mute myself for two seconds. Go ahead. I'll the next go one is going to be this map. This is Skyfort. This is a one, another one of those maps that I believe no one has really played. As you can see, it's got a bunch of towers. Uh, we see a yellow there. Some HP. Kind of like a lava pit in the middle. I have never played this map, so who the hell knows how this is going to go? We'll have to see. So the players are also getting ready. Let's see. Um, is that the same Prime Evil uh, who made skins for Quake World? I don't think so, because he, he spells it Prime Evil with an A instead of an I. Um, but who knows? I, I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Um, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think it's uh, a different person. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. This should be interesting. I think this will play a little faster than the other well it's maybe it's gonna be the same story as the first let's find out yeah maybe similar to the first map we're gonna have to see as we see get to watch splash in the beginning there is a pent on this ability kid is gonna pick up the the quad and the pent goes to max so let's see what he does with it because it looks to be a very big map the question is does he know where the weapons are he's gonna pick up a super shotgun that's gonna not gonna no, help he gets him the rocket. now he's gonna go to the rocket launcher Max with the rocket launcher stepping through the teleporters. I have no idea where they go, but yeah, it is what it is. Max is gonna get one kill. He's gonna go for the uh, yeah. He uh, knew bump. where the oh, yellow nice. was. Nice. nice. Nice play by Max, the Polish player. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> eventually go down to BPS, who's also found found himself a yellow armor. Yeah, and down here at the lava, there's Omega. Gotcha. And um, if he knew that, he would jump down. But this is sort of like an airlift that you can take where BPS is now. He's probably yeah. going to walk into it. Let's see. Or just He's wait He's waiting here. for the quad. He's waiting for, for ah, the quad the... spawns up there. Okay, nice. Up. Nice one from BPS. Okay, so that much he's realized already. He timed it perfectly as well. He's now down in kind of like the sewers. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, the quad room has three floors. It's the lava floor is the lowest. And you take the teleport up. So this indeed looks like a way slower map uh, and a bigger map. Yeah. At least then, uh, uh, well, compared to uh, DM7 that we got to see just now. Yeah, it's kind of the same as the first. Yep. But every map goes faster when you know it. It's just yeah, of course. common sense. <laughs> I'm all getting a couple of frags here. <laughs> Stepping through a teleport, looking around, trying to decide where to go. Yeah, okay, he sees a yellow. He's happy about that. He's also oh, gonna find a frag and a lightning gun pack. That's good for him. So now he's got some weaponry to work with. Stepping over one of those. Oh, he's gonna find a mega as well. Now he's very happy. Yeah. It looks like he finds everything by chance. And it's kind of working for him. Very, oh, <laughs> that is a sick boomstick shot by BPS, actually. Nice reaction time. Oh, he gets the pack. Doesn't help him. Turbo now with the quad. Doesn't have any weaponry. Gonna pick up the super shotgun. That's something. It's a couple of frags with that. Should swap over to the regular boomstick for the long range. And speaking of long range, like this map seems to have a lot of long range fights. Yeah. You're, you're almost missing a railgun on this map. <laughs> 
Because I think the rail would play out perfectly on a map like this. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of easy to dodge those long range rockets. And just as I say that, Yuse almost got hit by BPS. She does the right thing though. She uses the boomstick for the long range, which is kind of what you need to do. It's the only weapon that is instant. Oh, that's the second quad, uh, or the, the other quad. Oh, the only quad, no. sorry. It's the same It's only quad. one quad. Yeah. Indeed, and it's going to be picked up by Burizi. And he knows where the red is. The red is spawning here. He doesn't really need it though. I think he should go for, uh, for frags instead, but no, he's going to keep the red secure. It's still five seconds away. He only has one cell for his lightning gun, so that's not going to be very usable. You get one frag with it, I guess, if he hits it. Gonna go for the rocket launcher now, picks that up, and that should allow him to get some frags, but the quad is running out. The quad is now gone. So Tumen has the lead. That's good for him. True, actually. He doesn't have too many points from the previous games. No, so he has he... one point. Of course, early days on this map. Yeah. We've only played four minutes, but yeah, definitely a much slower map in comparison to uh, Team oh, 7. Oh, watch out. <laughs> yeah, two points. He's going to have a fight against Yuse. That's not going to yeah, work. BPS just is getting ready for the quad. No, he falls down. It's going to be Max instead. BPS just barely missed that. Oh, that's a lightning gun pack from Max as well, but he's going to go down. Uh, to Barisi, but nobody really picked up the quad. Instead, it's going to be BPS. The yellow is available. He's going to pick up the yellow. Doesn't and have any weaponry, though. He does have a super shotgun. Gonna find the kill with that. Now he needs to find a weapon and some HP because it's down to 12 HP. He might get one from uh, Quaker. Yes, he will. He gets <laughs> nice. a rocket launcher, but then he goes down. It's gonna be Max instead with the quad. Also doesn't have any weaponry. He's also only got a rocket launcher. Uh, sorry, uh, a super shotgun. He's now gonna find uh, the lightning gun and the rocket launcher. So I guess that's yeah. the second rocket launcher on the map. Yeah, there's two rocket launchers on the one LG. And it's time for Pent, and Barisi has figured out this map. He's waiting for the Pent there. Yeah, Barisi, it looks like he knows all of the maps. He knew the yeah, first one as well. Probably practiced them. Yeah. Oh, he ran out of rockets. Yeah, no rockets for Barisi, but he does have a pen, so he cannot be killed. Probably just looking to find that quad. And um, there's rockets down here. And he's not going to go for the rockets. He's going to try to find the kill instead. Do as much damage as he can with this pen. Just trying to... Oh, he's going to find the quad here. Maybe get some frags with the super shotgun. Still no rockets for him, though. Poor guy. That was an entire pen run without any rockets. But still finding a couple of frags with the super <laughs> shotgun. Goes down eventually. The quad is still available. And Max is going to pick that up. Yep. And Tumen and Beres. Uh, Tumen and Lugia is moving up the ladder. They have only one point, so... They definitely need that, as we see Max yeah. and Hang Time in the bottom. But it's still a very close fight in the bottom, like eight. They're all within ten frags. And we still have ten minutes to go, so we're nowhere near to see what, how this map is gonna go when all is said and done. Turbo here with a red armor and a rocket launcher. It's not gonna be on time for the quad. Instead, it's gonna be Splash. Oh, actually hits a good boomstick onto Turbo. Almost all of that red is gone. BPS has a mega. He's going to kill the quad and get that quad as well. Picks it up. He only has one rocket. Seems to be... Seems to me that rocket ammo is kind of an issue on this map. Well, there are packs here, but... Uh, rocket packs, but you do, if you don't know where it is, it's... <laughs> yep. It doesn't help. <laughs> here is your rocket pack yeah, and BPS. He didn't pick it up, he got a pack earlier, so he has yeah. rockets. I wonder if he realized he wasn't using the rockets really. But I think and he's behind, just kind of jumping around trying that, to understand the map, yeah? Sorry, behind that telly down on the lava, there's a mega. I'm not sure anybody picked it up yet. <laughs> We're just waiting for this yellow armor. Is yeah. it now gonna spawn? There also, there's a spawn at the yellow spawn. As we just saw there. Quaker actually has 91 rockets. Somehow he's accumulated that many packs. So he's probably been alive for a little bit here, but it's going to be Turbo picking up the quad. Once again with no weapons. That is kind of the name of the game here. Oh, he's going to oh. get a lightning gun and the yellow armor from Goniatz. Thank you very much, Turbo says. Very low on HP though, and not the best uh, trick jumping or strafe... Uh, sorry, bunny hopping coming out from Turbo here. Still got to find two tracks though. Three. 
Where yeah. did the turbo fool him? <laughs> yeah, the turbo is struggling here. He's gonna Don't find the kill on Tumult anyways. Down to three HP. No, he's gonna fall to his death. Oh no! The worst thing that happened happened. That could have happened happened. Poor, poor turbo. Poor, My poor turbo. by splash. <laughs> Only it knows how the bunny hop, so he's moving around a little bit faster. He's down to 5 HP though, might go down to the boomsticks here. He's gonna run into turbo, who also had a, a, a red armor. Baris is gonna pick up the quad with the super shotgun again. Let's see where he goes with this. He's gonna go to through red. the red, um, but, but there's Billy no red there. It. Instead, it's gonna be VPS killing him and gets the quad, then he dies. Gives it up to hang time. Hangtime does have a rocket launcher. Let's see if he realizes he's gonna use the super nail gun. Instead, goes down to use. Use is gonna pick up the green armor, but she's down to uh, the four HP. Goes down to Barisi, and the, the quad is back in the hands of Barisi. That's a Billy. lightning gun pack. Billy is camping the rocket here. I mean, that is smart, I believe. BPS is in the yeah. lead here. Tumult is second. Billy the Kid is third, and Lugia now on fourth. Yeah. Blue gentleman can actually put himself back in uh, the top. Yeah, Lord Lane makes a good point here. We haven't really seen Lugia on the auto track at all, but he's been getting frags somewhere. Somewhere on the map, he's been getting frags. We just don't know where. He's never had the quad, I don't think. Maybe once or twice. Max is gonna pick up the quad. He has a rocket launcher and plenty of rockets. Oh no! Oh. He's gonna get telefragged by Yus. Yus picks it up and then BPS picks it up. He has one lightning gun cell. Jumping around, not really sure where he's going with this. <laughs> it looked like he was like shooting the uh, super shotgun out into thin air, just hoping that the spread, uh, the, the pellet spread would just spread and kill everybody on screen. That did not happen. Instead, it's going to be hang time with the quad and the super nail gun. The quad runs out, so he's got nothing. He's going to make his way over to the rocket launcher. Picks that up finally, so he's got some weaponry to work with. As Pent is about to spot, it's going to be Bereezy once again. He knows the map well enough to get to Pent at least. But he's only in fourth place, so he's not really finding the frags that he wants. Oh, almost falls. It's not going to fall. Instead, Rocket jump away around a little bit. Picks up one of the yellow armors up on that tower top. And, and he's going to go for the quad as well. Should get that. I was trying to... Uh, yeah, that was not an attempted rocket jump. It was actually an attempted rocket at his enemy. Instead, that's going to cost him almost all of his armor. But he still has plenty of ammo, so he kind of wants to fight here, but he needs to find enemies to fight. No, he's going to fall down again. Not finding anything with the squad. Oh, this is such a waste. Now, finally finding a couple of frags. Two frags for Mr. Barisi. Oh. <laughs> BPS right. got him with a grenade. Yep. Oh. It's another kill with a grenade. BPS is notorious for his grenades. It's gonna go down though. 20 seconds till the next quad. This is a fight over this lightning gun that is pretty crazy. So many cracks <laughs> going down around the lightning gun room. Everybody nice. wanted that. And Max somehow has found himself two megas. He's got two megas and a green armor before this quad. The quad is about to spawn. It should go to Max actually. Max should be able to get this. He's just defending it right now. Gonyas went for the red instead. No, it's going to be Barisi. Max messed up, I believe. And he's kind of hunting him. And finally, Max gets the quad because, yeah, he was hunting him. He's going to drop down to the lower sewer area. Yeah. He Look has for picked that. up that mega before. Yeah, he knows that, that the mega is about to spawn. He had it previously, so he should be able to grab it. He's going to do so now before stepping through the teleporter. And now, of course, looking for them frags. Them juicy frags. He's going to find My a couple. Oh, he runs into Tumult, who's going to win that fight. So we swap over to Gonyets, waiting for this yellow to spawn. He's going to pick that up. I believe that tower yellow is almost available every single time you get there. Because yeah, you have to rocket jump up to get it. Yeah, so it's almost always up. I wonder if somebody has realized that. Oh, BPS with the red armor here and plenty of rockets. He also ha has a hundred cells, mind you. Oh, the mega is available there as well. He's going to be picked up by Barisi. 
The PPS just doing a good job with the fight instead. The, the quad just spawned. Max just jumped past it. No, what are you doing? Get back to the quad. The quad is available. Nobody's picking it up. There you go. Splash is going to pick it up with a super nail gun. Doesn't look have any other speed. weapons. Yeah, look at that speed indeed. He kept it up for a long time. It's going to drop down to the lightning gun, but his use is going to win that fight because she already had the lightning gun. But now she's out of cells instead. So she can only use the, uh, the boomstick really for these long range fights. But that's working nice. for her. Using the super shotgun then. Getting a couple of frags. Picks up a couple of cells. But not really finding the kills. Goes to the pent area. But there's no pent here. Just yet. Two minutes away. As we take a look at the scoreboard. So we got BPS at the top. Close after him is Billy the Kid, Luja and Barisi. And we got Gonyet's Tumult on the same score. Quakers close behind them. Then we got Splash, Use Turbo, Max, and Hangtime far in the bottom, actually. Hangtime is so far away from everybody else. He will probably do better than the last map. Yeah, for sure. Everybody will, I believe. Yeah. As this quad is going to trade hands a couple of times. So Lugia is putting himself back into discussion of top places here. He is indeed. And as I say that, as I say that, Tumen has called and is closing in on Lugia. Looks like yeah, BPS is looking good for the first place. Oh, he's actually tied with Billy the Kid, so don't speak too early. With two minutes remaining, and Billy the Kid I was thinking leave. about overall, but yeah. True, true, true. But Billy, if Billy does well here again, he also is in good shape. Splash is somewhere <laughs> just taking a random teleporter, making his way up to Pent, but it's still quite far off. Maybe hoping that it would be an early Pent, but it's still like 30, 40 seconds off. How can it be an early Pent? I'm not sure how that is possible. But... Well, early as in not very delayed, then it would spawn in 15 seconds, but uh, yeah, right. it's not. It still is a pretty early Pent, actually, all things considered. Barisi has been on point with those. So it's actually only 10 seconds delayed-ish. Not even that, 7 seconds delayed. That's really good, actually. For a free-for-all map that people don't so... know. So Pent is about to spawn now as we see Turbo, but it's gonna be Billy the Kid with the Pent. He has a lightning gun, 14 cells. Let's see what he can do with that. He's oh, gonna get no, a rocket wait. pack from Gonietz. Find another frag. He's, what is it? Five frags behind BPS currently. Make that four frags and it's kind of creeping close. He's got 40 seconds to work with if he wants to get close to that top spot and get the five points instead of four. Two frags behind now. He's gonna rocket jump, gain some speed. Still, yeah, that's another rock jump. He's out of armor now, though. He's gonna have to find some way to find some armor. Two frags behind. Yeah. UPS is gaining on him now, though, when the pent ran out. So he's now three frags ahead. And uh, Ability Kid goes down. Turbo with the quad. He's gonna go down. This is the last quad. Last eight seconds of the game. BPS is gonna win it. He's five frags ahead. It's gonna be Ability Kid second. Lugia third. Nobody's gonna challenge that. And there you go. Tumult in fourth and Gonyets in fifth. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna update the scores here. So. But yeah, that was a cool map. Uh, very big. I believe you can have 26 or 32 players on this even. Yeah, uh, right. Issue. So BPS got five and Billing got four. Now we're moving into the map that everybody should know. So this map is DM2, DM4, and DM6 all put together into one. So as you can see, some places lead to weird places. This is the DM4 part, as everybody knows. But if you take the red exit, well, I don't think that teleporter actually leads here. The teleporters lead to different areas of the map. But you can also go back here, which you can't on the normal DM4. And you can make your way all the way into, guess what? The DM6. So here you get to DM6. You can step through the teleporter to not go where you're used to. It's the mega room, which leads to, guess what? DM4. Kind of crazy. You can also go through the teleporter here in mega. This teleporter did not exist before. And with the help of that, you can make it all the way to DM2. DM2 also looks kind of different. 
it's actually the first one that was in the um the mission pack so the water is actually deep this is actually the original dm2 and it's also the one that you will see in the enhanced quake or kicks quake whatever you want to call it kicks quake of course because it was made in the kicks engine for um doom 64 um so kicks quake also has this version of of dm uh, dm2 so this water is deep which is something that quake world players are not used to this is not lava this is water uh but yeah this is uh this is death 32 c so most of these players will have played this on different free for all servers throughout the years um this uh this map was actually made by id software in the beginning i believe so this is not a custom map by any means we gotta get the results here before we so we have something to talk about for this last Let's see. Uh oh, they're about to start. They haven't fixed time limit. Oh, okay, they're fixing now. As they're about to start the last map, I'm not gonna have time to to. Uh... I can do okay. it while you. Okay. BPS says so, hold. BPS has 14 points and Barry is in 10. Billy the Kid 8. Splash 6. Gunix 5. Quaker Lugia 4. Timon and Max 3. So BPS is looking sweet. He only needs a point and he will... He only needs a point. So yeah, he one needs... point to get first place. Yeah, and if he gets one point and Buddy he wins, they are tied. And True. Ability Kid needs two points more than Barisi. So... The BPS is uh, looking strong to get the first place. Yeah, we can go now. Let's go. This is gonna be the last map. 16 minutes of death 32. DM2, DM4, DM6 all put into one. This is an interesting one. Let's have some fun with it. Every player will know how this looks and how it works. And here we go. We're going to watch Gonyets to start things off. Of course, there are uh, quads all over the place. Two quads on this, of course. I believe DM6 still has its ring in this mode. Oh, they have four red armors. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of things on this map. But everybody will know where things are. So that's of course a funny way to get to the DM6 Mega. This has been Turbo. played on uh, QH lands. We played 10 versus 10 on this. We've uh, played very many different modes on this map. This map has been played everywhere. And this map is also, I believe, in the Death 32C. Uh, sorry, in the uh, Kexquake. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Turbo hasn't died yet, and he's in the lead. No, I died there. <laughs> Yep. I can't believe the cast of curse. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's true every time. <laughs> this also creates a, uh, creates a weird dynamic because you can get a lightning gun, for example, from DM4 or DM6, and then you can make your way to the DM2 area of the map. Oh As we got bacteria slap. Thank you very much for the prime sub, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the team. Welcome to, to uh, Sudden Death TV. As we see Billy the Kid with a quad lightning gun oh. getting a bunch of frags on the DM2 area of the no. map, but then dies to a grenade from use, a random grenade just bouncing all the way to him. And this is the weird dynamic, right? A lightning gun on DM2 because you don't need to pick up the lightning gun from the DM2 area of the map, you just get it from um, a pack or something. Yeah, a pack or go to the DM2 or DM4, uh, sorry, the DM6 or DM4 area of the map and then make your way to the. Um, to the DM2 area and you have a lightning gun on DM2 which is very very weird as Yuse picks up this quad she has got all the weapon weapons that she needs now she only needs to hit her shots and she will that's five five frags in a row as BPS picks up the quad instead after getting the kill on Yuse it's gonna pick nice up a yellow LG aim on Yuse there if you say so <laughs> I was trying to be nice uh oh, Turbo is gonna fall down into the lava. That rocket jump is not gonna work. We're gonna watch hang time over on the DM2 area. So what you can kind of do, if you're a good, better DM2 player than you are a DM4 player, just make your way to the DM2 area of this map. And likewise, if you're a better DM4 player, maybe you want to be around the DM4 area of the map and kind of dominate that place. And the same goes for DM6. You can kind of be wherever you want to be. The only issue is that, of course, you still need to find the frags. So as we can see, Hangtime, he's kind of been around this DM2 area of the map for most of the time. And 
and that's okay right but you also need to find the frags and now he's gonna find one on goniets he has the quad but nobody seems to want to go to the dm2 area on the map really so he's having a, a hard time finding the enemies here so he's gonna make his way over to the dm4 area of the map and maybe to the dm6 now he's gonna stay in dm4 try to find some frags here as Billy the Kid has to lead 21 frags. Gonyets and Hangtime is close behind. And actually, VPS currently in a one-point situation. That could be messy if he ends up there in the end of this map. So I think VPS is going to have a little tougher fight for top spots now because, you know, so many people know most this map and they are good at it, so... The RNG, as, yeah, as you said, as you said on Friday, you, BPS is um, the really good players. They're more adaptable to maps. If yeah, he has a lot of raw, skill, raw skills. So all, yeah. once he learns where a weapon is and so on, he's not as map specific. He can uh, he can just get that weapon and then start getting frags through through mere skill. Oh, beautiful rocket from Billy the Kid midair, and you saw that corpse just flying away. He's gonna try to get a couple of uh, lightning gun cells. They are not to be had, and that teleporter does not lead to the DM6. It leads to DM2. So now he's all of a sudden in DM2. As for some reason, Auto Track decided to be on Billy the Kid instead of the quad. Why is that? Let's do Auto Track again and correct that. Well, it's still gonna stay on Billy the Kid, but he's gonna pick up the DM4 quad anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's gonna no. fall down into the lava and he's dead. We're gonna swap over to Turbo. He's gonna be in a fight in the big room of DM2. He's gonna die. As we see Barisa with a 200-200 stack. That was gone quick. This yeah. is, of course, a nice place to be on uh, DM2. BBS waiting for the DM2 quad. Gonna pick that up. That's a good shot. Doesn't have a lightning gun though, so he's gonna make his way over to the DM4 area of the map and pick up a lightning gun. But of course, super strong with... Oh no, he's also gonna fall down into the lava. So many people dying to the DM4 lava and even BPS. He's of course yeah. a very good DM4 player. Good at the kids. <laughs> Not <Nice>. quicker. <laughs> what a shit map this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, Lugia getting a couple of frags over on the DM4 area of the map. Max finally picked up uh, the, the DM6 ring. We didn't really get to see it before. It's been taken once. So that is the second ring. Of course, we don't have DM3 in here, so there's no pens. It's only DM2, DM4, DM6. But we do have two quads and one ring. So we see BPS here with a 200-200 stack. Gotta be careful not to fall down into that lava. Hangtime has found himself both the ring and the quad. The ring now runs out. At the moment, uh, I think maybe Billy is passing Baresi on the Final total list here. Mm -hmm. Donia's finding a couple of frags here. The frags are pretty even amongst the top. DPS and Billy the Kid pulling ahead a little bit. They're both on 41. Donia spamming away, waiting for this red armor. Secret red. He's gonna pick that up. Find another frag. That's a lightning gun pack as well. 100 cells for Gomietz. That could mean that he could get a bunch of frags with this. BPS picks up the DM4 quad. He's also got a bunch of cells. Let's see what he does with it. If he plays this kind of like DM4, it looks like it. It's just this, is the, this is the only map we see quad at DM4. Yeah, it, well, DM4 always has quad, but it's the only mode where we actually use yeah, it. Right. We, never, we never allow it. Yeah, BPS is going to make his way back to DM4. I think he enjoys the DM4 part of this map, especially when it has a quad. It's very easy to hold. He's going to time this DM6 Mega and then probably go back to DM4. Yes, he will. Splash picks up the DM2 quad. Doesn't have a lightning gun, though, but all you need is a rocket launcher. He's going to trade frags with hang time. So that quad is up for grabs if someone can, if someone can make their way over there. It's going to be turbo in the end. Doesn't have any armor. It's going to go for the secret red. Gets that? Oh, he has a rocket launcher behind him, but he has no idea. Gonna have to be careful here. BPS still running this DM4 part of the map. I don't think he's died since last we saw him. I think he's been running this part of the map just for eight, forever. Now he's gonna go grab this uh, red, then make his way back. He's also timing that mega, but he already has it. 
got 15 HP left on that Mega, so he's fine. Now that Mega is out, but now he has the timing on it, so he can just time the um, the DM4 Red and the DM6 Mega. And he's taking a commanding lead here. 66 frags. Tumult is second on 48. Yeah, we're halfway through. Halfway through this map indeed. As we're back to BPS, just for a brief sec, you know, a brief moment. As they're trading the... Uh, <laughs> The quad over at the DM2 side of things. Really the kid here with the quad and the lightning gun. He could have gone for the secret red, but opts not to. Instead, he tries to get, find the frags, which is a good idea. But the quad is going to go down. He's also going to run out. So we're back to BPS. Hang time has the tail end second of that. And just BPS picks up the other quad. If only he realized that he picked up this quad when the DM2 quad ran out. He could actually go to DM2 quad now and have quad 100% of the time. If BPS knew, of course, he does not know that that quad ran out, so he has no idea about that. He's going to continue just running this uh, DM4 part of the map. And I believe it's smart. He's finally going to go down. I think that's the first time in minutes that BPS goes down. Look at the frag board. BPS has 83 frags. Tumult is second with 53. He's got a 30 frag lead over the second player. That's a huge lead as Lugia picks up this uh, DM2 quad. Waiting for the secret red. He's not going to get it. I'm going to trade frags. Hang time picks up the quad. He's going to go down. <laughs> PPS is now in the DM2 area of the map. But I think he's going to look to make his way back to DM4. So evidently he knows how to play this map. What you want to do is just get to um, get to DM4 and run everything. Splash is going to pick up the DM4 quad. He's going to go down, however. Let's see who gets that quad. All the track is going to swap back once someone picks it up. Maybe it fell down into the lava, actually. So we're staying on uh, Tumult. Maybe that's a void quad because down, if it falls down into the lava, there's no real feasible way to get it and then make it out. You could try rocket jumping, I guess, but that's difficult. So if it's stuck in the lava, it's a goner. So not too many second place. Look at that. BPS is just increasing his lead. He's making sure that he wins the top price of whatever it was, 131 bucks or whatever. That's a pretty decent paycheck just to play some FFA. Yeah. It's, I'm, on this map, I, is, the tactics, are uh, is it best to be at DM4? Or? I mean, it, it proved to be very good for BPS. It, it, yeah. So what he was doing, he was getting the DM4 red armor. He was getting the DM6 mega and then getting the DM4 quad. So he's essentially, or what he was doing, he was playing DM4, but with a quad. <laughs> And a much easier mega to get to. And then letting people run into him. And it was working. But here we see Barisi with the... the uh, I think that's the DM4 quads. It's going to trade yeah, hands to BPS. He didn't have stack. And then BPS with stack came in and GG. Yeah, five minutes remaining in this. But BPS has a big, big freaking lead. 92 frags. As Gonyet picks up the DM2 quad. This is a crazy map to commentate, by the way. Because it's... Oh. <laughs> three maps in one. It's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Bonnet still with this DM2 quad. I need a couple of kills, but I feel like DM2 hasn't been very beneficial when it comes to finding the frags. Not a lot of players are, tend to go there. Kind of want the uh, lightning guns, I guess, on DM6 and DM4. But here, Tumult, oh, that's going to be a gun quad again. Down into oh. the lava. So I don't think that no uh, anyone is going to die for that. Yeah, Tumen has a nice grip on second place here. Yeah, he does. He's uh, eight frags ahead of Billy the Kid. BPS now yeah. just hit 100. As predicted, hang time is uh, moving up the ladder. He is indeed. Gonyets is in fifth place. One frag behind behind hang time. They're going to be the ones to fight for this quad. Gonyets is going to win that fight. That means he ties it with hang time. Maurice is not too far behind. Seven frags, six frags behind. Splash is also six frags behind. But in the very bottom, we see Quaker, oh. Lucha, Turbo, and Yuse. Which is kind of to be expected because they are the four players that don't really play the DM maps, right? all the others kind of play the dm maps so that's kind of what happens as luja does have uh, the dm2 quad he's stuck in here in the secret room 
Gonna pick up the red. Oh, he can't. Oh. Use, he, don't use the lightning gun down here, please. This is water. <laughs> There's no health for him here. Max. Max is gonna pick up the DM4 quad. He only has eight cells. He's gonna pick up a couple more cells. Gets the yellow armor. He needs to find the frags. And I feel like BPS was doing it right. He was staying in the um, in the uh, DM4 part of the map, and that's where you find the frags. But Max finding a couple here now. He's up to three. Might get a fourth here. No, he's gonna go down instead. The little kid picks up the quad, then it's breezy, but it's gonna run out. The DM4 quad is about to spawn, I believe, soon. As that was the DM2 quad running out just then. Yep. Oh, this is the DM2. Never mind. That was the DM4 quad. This is the DM2 quad. That is so uh, confusing sometimes. Splash is gonna make his way into DM4. Oh, he, I'm, I'm sure he wanted that mega. BPS, as you can see, is taking uh, refuge in the DM4 part of the map. That is smart. This is a good place to find frags, and Splash is going to make his way here. Get a couple. Oh, oh my god. He's going to plow through four or five players with that quad. Like, and he and gets now another one. Now he's going to refill his quad with the DM4 uh, quad. Steps through the teleporter. That means he's now in DM6. Now he's back in DM4. This is crazy. This is what Death32 does to you. You're going to swap maps all the time. So now, no, he's not gonna go into DM2. He's gonna stay in DM6 for now. Wherever he there is sound. He survives this, he's gonna get second place. Uh, because so of the two quad runs. Nice. I wonder if he remembers the DM2 quad is about to spawn. Make it to the DM2 quad now. And you can keep the quads up. He sees it through the wall, but he's not going for it. Just tell him it's gonna be BPS. Let's see if he figures out that he can make his way over to the DM4. No, he's gonna go down. He's down to 1 HP. He's still alive, though, but I feel like he's gonna die here. Yes, he will. Gonitz gets the kill. But instead, it's gonna be Max on the quad. I the guess DM4. the Swedes are best on these maps. Yeah, it's... It's the DM map. <laughs> we you have Swedes in one, two, three. The Swedish players indeed. They know their DM maps. As the DM4 quad is gonna spawn. Billy the Kid got it, but he did go down. I wonder if the quad survived or if it fell down into the lava. If the quad is in the lava, it should be a void quad and nobody will get it. Yeah, it looks like it is indeed in the lava. Nobody's gonna die for that. As that is very, very dangerous let's have a look at the scoreboard with one minute remaining 40 seconds actually bps is definitely gonna win that look at that scoreboard 124 frags on bps tumult is second on 88 splash could challenge him in the last 30 seconds he's only four frags behind and also um Gonyets and billy the kid are tied on 78 and barisi is on 77 so that's also a very close one hang time with the quad here is going to try to get closer 15 seconds remaining on the map that's a ring by the way by max that's a dm6 ring he's gonna find one frag two frags maybe three no eight seconds remaining is anything gonna change splash is one frag behind tumult is he gonna be able to make it he's gonna tie it they're both on 88 so that's 127 bps tumult and splash gets a tied second place place wow. billy the kid gets third i guess technically or actually fourth agonietz gets fifth and then barisi they're gonna gg out and now we're gonna have to take a look at the final score so we're actually gonna leave this let's leave the the server Whew. so that's ggs now we get to the fun part where we do the math and figure out who gets paid and who does yeah. not get paid i'm gonna do it now uh bps five points so what we know for sure is that bps will definitely win first prize let's tab over to what that means and two minutes splash got four yes so bps earns 125 euros that's a good payday for playing some free for all now we need to figure out who gets the rest Tumult is going to get four points. That's not really going to bring him too far up. It might bring him to to the fifth and sixth spot, I guess, maybe. So, Boresi, Max, Hang Time Turbo got one. Billy, Gonitz, two. Tumen, Splash, four. I'm going to keep, and DPS, yeah, DPS I'm gonna keep five. updating. Don't say anything uh, until yeah. it's all sorted. Yeah. So we're going to stay on this. We're going to wait for Alice gonna wait for alice to uh to update the um the final score and then we'll go through it with you all to let you guys know what everybody got paid 
and yeah what a freaking event i think this was an awesome idea by you and alice um this free for all thing even though it didn't work out in brazil i mean i think you <laughs> couldn't ask for anything else in this to be honest no, oh, I'm I'm happy about it. It's it was great fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Just oh. specking it was awesome. Yeah, and also I like the idea that the qualifiers were eight players and on entirely different maps. Of course, I love the E3 M7. I believe uh, I I love that map because of the <coughs> two quads, the craziness that um, happened on that map. Of course. Um, and then in the grand finals, having 12 players and four new maps, I like that. I didn't quite enjoy the way uh, map one and three played out. They felt too slow. I think you need more players than 12. Um, yeah, it's natural when you don't know the map. So I knew that would happen. But uh, yeah, like like on the qualifiers, it's only eight players. So, I mean, if you t if you take 12 players on E3 M17, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I would think it would be funny. I, I think yeah, that would be course. funny. Yeah, of course. But uh, maybe not for the players, I'm not sure. It will be so mayhem, but uh, some maps work with 8, some with 12. Maybe we can find out, you know, 3-4 maps that's great for 8, I and think, then 3-4 the maps be, great for 12. Yeah, I think the best map on, uh, of this was actually uh, the Quake 3 DM7. I think that was hell I fun agree. to watch. That was that so was fun real to nice. watch. Even though the majority of the fights were actually like Super Shotgun on Super Shotgun. Yeah. But the fun part was that there was always like six super shotguns involved in one fight <laughs> and wow look at the list okay. it's updated take it let's take it away. have a look at the freaking list let's see who gets paid oh wait i want to see it greened out i want to see it greened out for those who get paid oh actually don't need to so yeah you can yeah i'll let you explain it i'm looking at it now the stream can see yeah. the final score here well what's uh, we, as we see we have six players tied we have two players tied on 10 points, and we have two players tied on 7, and two players tied on 4th. So three the tiebreaker... Three players tied on 4. Yeah, yeah, three on, on 4 points. So the tiebreaker... Three, yeah. So the tiebreaker rule is... Like, you can take Billy and Splash, for example. Uh, the tiebreaker here is... They are actually it, exactly even. They've yeah, gotten the one, high... two play, second place. They've gotten gotten two third places, and they've gotten two fourth places, and one map uh, with um, one point. Yeah, so Billy got absolutely Billy, tied. Billy got a second place, and Splash got a second. Yeah, they're tied. So, what's gonna happen here? They're gonna split the money 50-50. The money they two earned together are gonna to go down 50 50. so just to explain what link means here is that if one of these two players had won a map so gotten five points from one of the maps they yeah. would have won it in the tiebreaker but they are actually exactly equal they got exactly the same points divided the same way so neither of them actually got a first place finish but both of them got a second place finish so they're tied to yeah as yeah. tight as you can be so they're gonna split and tumen, the money. tumen will pass gonets and because that is he got, because he has he a got four. A, yeah. Yeah, he got a second place and uh Gunias only got uh a fifth or uh Yeah, he's got a bunch of second uh two pointers. Yeah. Two pointers. And the same goes for Lugia goes past Quaker because he's got yep. a higher spot than Quaker. But then it's a tie between Max and Quaker. Yeah, so they're gonna split, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so Lugia so should there you have get... it. Yeah. I will do uh, this, the money in Discord. Yeah. How to split it. All right. Well, this was great. Thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, this was amazing. And thank you for casting with me as well, Link. And thank you for organizing yeah. the tournament together with Alice. Of course, a massive shout out to Alice. Um, like many people have said in the chat, by the way, like Lord Lame said, great event. I have no interest in free for all myself. But this was interesting and fun to watch. And I, I, I agree. Free for all is not for everybody when it comes to playing it. It's very chaotic. There's no team play involved, which is something that a lot of people enjoy. Um, but it was amazing to watch. So I think the entire concept, the idea, everything was great. So massive shout out to both you, Link, and to Alice for, for yeah. making this happen. I, I, I hope we see more of this. Maybe make one in the US. 
uh, something yeah, like that I so we get definitely to see. definitely love this. I mean, if you can make it again, let's do it. Um, yeah, I would love to see a North American version where we get to see would, the North American players do this. Um, real sweet. Yeah, for sure. Or a worldwide one. Why not? Like one uh, yeah, with, on, the, not? on the anti lag servers and, and get to see all of the players that want to play in uh, free for all. That would be amazing. I might even sponsor an event like that. Yeah, there are some players also saying, hey, can you make a FFA league? But uh, <laughs> uh, a league is uh, pretty difficult to do, I think. But a tournament uh, like this? Tournaments. For sure. Yeah, tournaments for sure. I agree. All right, Link. I'm gonna face you out, but thank you so yeah. much for for Thanks joining for me. me. And uh, I'll, I'll see you later in private. Yeah, bye.